Print on demand is rapidly becoming a popular concept for online stores to sell their branded products globally. The great thing about print on demand is as a business owner, you do not have to worry about inventory production or shipping. Literally everything is taken care of for you. Simply connect your online store like Shopify, upload your branding to your selected products, and just like that, all you need to do is fulfill your orders when you make any sales, and the rest is taken care of by a print-on-demand company like Printify. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope all is well on your side of the world. Now today I'm going to dive into a print on demand tutorial and share exactly how you can set up and use Printify with your Shopify store so that you can sell your branded print on demand products globally and with absolute ease. This is because you don't have to worry about product production, inventory and shipping. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and launch into this Printify tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and set up print on demand with your Shopify store using Printify. <music> Okay, so before we dive into Printify, set up your account and choose the products that you want to sell on your Shopify store using the print on demand model, we first need to set up our Shopify store. Now, if you currently do not have a Shopify store, simply head over to your browser and type in shopify.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you here. Simply add your email address and then follow the step-by-step -step process of adding your details and setting up your online store. Then you'll be taken inside your Shopify account. For those that already have a Shopify account, what we'll do is meet you inside Shopify. Okay, so here I am inside my Shopify account. Now, if you're completely new to Shopify or you need help setting up your online store, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of setting up your Shopify store from start to finish. So feel free to check out that tutorial if you're new to Shopify. Okay, so once you've set up your Shopify account, we can then dive into Printify. To get started with Printify, simply head over to your browser and type in printify.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you here. Now before we dive in and if you're completely new to Printify and the whole concept or business model of print on demand then what I'll do is add a link down below in the description that will take you to a complete Printify review and print on demand article that will help equip you with a good understanding of print on demand and Printify. Okay, so Printify is free to set up and use. You just have to pay for the cost per order. So for example, a customer will place an order on your Shopify store, then you simply need to fulfill that order and pay the cost of the product, and you will keep the margins, the profit on that product. Now, Printify also offers a premium plan that allows you to list up to 10 stores, and you also get a 20% discount on all products. This is a great option to move into as your store grows, but to begin with, the free option is more than sufficient enough for most online stores. Okay, so to get started, simply navigate over to Start for Free and set up your account. What I'll do is meet you inside your Printify account once you've gone through the process of setting up and adding your details and creating your Printify account. So go ahead, sign up, and I'll meet you inside Printify. Okay, so once you've created a Printify account and you've added your details, what we want to do is connect our online store. So I'm going to navigate down and click on Add a new store to connect my Shopify store. This is an older store that I had connected in the past. Then navigate down and select Shopify. Go ahead and add your store URL. Then come down and click Connect. Here we need to install the Printify Print On Demand app. Go ahead and click on Install App. And that's going to install Printify onto your Shopify store. Then come down and add your sign up details for Printify. I'm going to go ahead and use my Google account. And this is the Google account that I use to sign up with Printify. And just like that, we've connected our Shopify store with Printify. Now what I'm going to do is navigate over to Open Full Site and then click on My Store. 
And as you can see, I'm back inside my Printify account. Now, if I navigate up here, you can see that my Shopify store, Go Digital Now, is now connected with Printify. And if we navigate across here, across the menu, you can see that we have my products selected. This is where you can manage all your products. As you can see, at the moment, we have zero products that we've connected. So what we want to do now is add products. Think about some of the products that you want to use on your store. Think about some of the products that you want to add your branding and design concepts to so that you can sell those through Shopify. I'm going to go ahead and click on browse products. And if we navigate down here, you can see some new arrivals of products that we can add our unique designs to and sell on our Shopify store. So what I'm going to do is navigate up here and I'm going to search for hat. So these are the hats that Printify offers that we can use on our store. We can upload our own designs and sell these hats on our store. Below each product, you can see basic details. And then over on the left hand side, we can further filter our search. Now, if we navigate back up to the top and click on category down here, we can see all the different categories that we can choose from. So think about the products that you want to sell. Think about the products that you want to upload your unique designs to. For example, we have kids clothing, women's clothing, men's clothing. We have these options up here, feature products, best sellers, new arrivals. We have accessories and we also have home and living. So for me, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and click on hoodies. Let's say that we're moving into winter and I want to start selling branded hoodies through my online store. And let's say I'm looking for a black hoodie to sell. So I'm going to navigate down. And I can spend some time viewing these different hoodies. I like the look of this one. I'm going to go ahead and click on this hoodie. It's a bestseller. And here we can navigate through the product images. You can see that this is where our design will be. And then if we navigate over here, you can see some information about the product itself. If we click on read more, we can see more details about key features, care instructions, size guide, and more down there but we're going to navigate back up to the top and these are the different options we have you can see information from the particular supplier that's connected with printify again what you want to do is spend some time looking at the information the pricing shipping the average production time the print areas sizes and colors i'm going to navigate up to the top and this one here has the best rating so i'm going to navigate across and click on start designing and then first, what we want to do is click on the product variants, then navigate down and choose the different color variants that you want to display in your Shopify store. I'm going to navigate over to black and I want to display black and white as two color variants. Then navigate over to size once you've selected your color variants. And ideally you want to select all the different sizing options available to suit all the different body types. I'm going to navigate down and click on update. And now onto the important section of this video, which is all about adding your designs, your custom designs to your products. To do that, what we're going to do is navigate up to my device and I'm going to select this logo here. Now it's important to note that you want to upload your unique designs in the highest quality, the highest resolution possible. If you're not too sure where or how to create designs for your products, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through a complete Canva tutorial, helping you create designs all within Canva. Canva is a powerful free design platform that allows you to create any kind of designs that you like with absolute ease. So go ahead and check out that tutorial if you like. Now, once you've uploaded your design to your product, you can then customize that design. You can make it slightly larger if you like, make sure it fits the entire area. You can also flip your design if you like. And if we navigate over here, we can make sure it fits within the placeholder. We can navigate across and we can duplicate this design. We can also delete the design and these three dots allow us to apply to all areas. So if there's multiple places to add your design, you can apply that design to all areas and you can save as a template if you like. We can also navigate up here and preview what this product will look like. So as you can see, this is what the product will look like with our design. It looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. But if you think it's slightly off, then what you can do is navigate back over to edit and you can click on your design and then make those changes on the right hand side. But I'm happy with that. Then what I'm going to do is navigate over to white and then come down and click on make a specific design for white. I'm going to navigate down and click add design and then from my device and this time I'm going to add this black design. 
which is actually my logo. I'm going to navigate up and click on fill placeholder and then I'm going to go ahead and preview. And if I'm happy with that, what I can do is navigate back to edit and then navigate back over to black and I'm happy with these two designs. Now what you can also do is, for example, if I navigate down and click on add design, I can hire designers from Fiverr to help me create unique designs for my products. I can upload designs from Google Drive, from Dropbox. I can also add images from Shutterstock. And these images are free and you only pay after you sell a product. So that's a pretty cool integration if you want to use stock images. And you can also create custom text. Okay, so when you're happy with your product, simply navigate down and click on save product. Then here, what we're going to do is navigate up to the top. And here we can add all the information we want to add that's also going to display in our Shopify store for our customers to see. So choose the title image and mock-up views. I'm going to navigate over and click on this image here. And then if I navigate down, I'm happy with black. Down here, we can choose to change the product title if we like. And then we have the description down here. Now you want to create a compelling title and compelling description and you also want to think about SEO search engine optimization. You want to make sure that you have your target keywords within your title as well as in your description if you want to rank this product page on Google. You can also navigate down and add a size table to the description. This is good. I'm going to go ahead and add that and then add any other information that you want to add as well as play around with the formatting options available. I suggest spending some time playing around with your title and description and you can always change this at any time from within Printify or within your product section within Shopify. Okay, so what I'm going to do is navigate down further to tags. Here you can add tags. Again, this is going to help you better manage your products within Shopify. And then if we come down to variants, we can customize the pricing options for these variants. So for example, if we come down, we have large, it has two colors, all in stock. And then if we navigate over here, we have retail price 36 to $41. The profit is 14 to $16. That's a 40% profit. And then a production cost over here. And then the shipping cost over here. Now these prices will change based on the shipping. And again, you can play around with each of these pricing points if you like. You can add the amount of profit you want to see in here, or you can change the retail price, or you can add the profit margin that you would like to see. Then you can also click on each of these sizing variants, for example, and see the two different color variants and their pricing. So you can customize all of this if you like. You can also select all and then edit the price. If we navigate down further, you can come down to product visibility and you can choose to hide these products in your store for now. You can always change this information later on. And then down here we have variant visibility. We're going to keep this selected, only show in stock variants and hide any out of stock variants. Then come down to sync product details. This is where you can select the details that you want to sync with your Shopify store. We want to make sure that all of these are selected. Then come down to the category and you can choose the category that you want to display your product in. We're going to go ahead and select home page for now. And you can always create these categories within Shopify. Now, because I do not want this product to show on my Shopify store right now, I'm just going to simply navigate up here and click hide in store and then navigate down and click on publish. However, if you're ready for your product to be displayed in your Shopify store, then you wouldn't select that option. And as you can see, the status is publishing. This can take a few minutes before the status is active and the listing is active on your Shopify store. And as you can see, the status has changed to hidden. Now that's because I selected the option to hide this product from my store. If I click here, that's going to take me back to this product and I can unselect that option and that's going to display this product on my Shopify store. Again, you can navigate back over to all products and you can follow that exact same process with any of these different products. For example, I'm going to come down and click on tech accessories. And here we have some tech accessories. We can navigate through these and we can select, for example, I like the look of these AirPods and AirPods Pro case. And then we just have one location down here that produces this product. All I would do is click on start designing and follow that same process I just showed you. Okay, so what we're going to do now is head back to our Shopify store. And as you can see back inside our Shopify account and under products, you can see that this product, this hoodie that we just created, that we just uploaded our designs for within Printify has now been automatically added to our Shopify store. And this is where you can further customize the details of your product within Shopify. 
So I'm gonna navigate back up to the top and let's go ahead and preview what this product will look like on our Shopify store. If we navigate down, this is exactly what our product will look like on our Shopify store. So I'm happy with that, that looks really cool. We have black and then we also have white and then we have the different sizes down here as well as the product images that we added. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is quickly head back to my Printify account and then navigate over to orders. This is where you can manage all your orders from within Printify. You can also manage your orders within Shopify if you like. However, that is a brief introduction on how you can get started with Printify and Shopify in 2023. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Printify plus Shopify tutorial, helping you set up print on demand with your online store. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.